Hi everyone, today I just wanted to make a quick video talking about some of my favorite small booktubers. I've made a couple of videos like this in the past, but I wanted to make one now because of the changes in the YouTube policy. I'm sure you've heard plenty about it. People who have less than a thousand subscribers or under 4,000 watch hours in the past year are going to lose their partnership status. And I wanted to just shout out some smaller booktubers just to kind of spread the love and the appreciation. These are people that I watch all of their videos and I just feel like they deserve more appreciation and attention and I just wanted to give them a little shout out. So I'm going to talk about them all really briefly, hopefully keep this short and sweet. The first person that I want to shout out is Claire from Claire Reads Books. I have been watching Claire's channel for a couple of months now. I think she's one of the most articulate people that I watch. Her reviews are always spot on. She is so great about expressing her opinions regardless of what they are. I think the first video I ever watched of hers was about Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. She didn't love it as much as other people do and I found her opinions to be really thought-provoking and definitely made me rethink my thoughts and feelings on the book a little bit. Um, it definitely didn't diminish my enjoyment of that book but it was interesting to hear a, a really different opinion about it and she articulated it so well. Um, I think that all of her reviews are so good and I love her reading taste. It's really wide and eclectic. And yeah, if you like book reviews, which are my favorite kind of video, I highly recommend Claire's channel. Next is Matthew Sharapa. He is delightful. Um, he makes so many videos and he is very creative and unique in the things that he makes. I love when he vlogs what he is listening to on audio because you always get to see little shots of New York City, which is always really cool. But he also reads a lot of Japanese and South Korean fiction and talks so so eloquently about them and makes me want to read them all. He's going to be reading um, Yukio Mishima's quartet of novels later this year and doing a read-along for that which I'm really excited about um, but I just love him in general. He's sweet, he is kind, he is funny and like I said I think that he is a very creative voice in the community, does things a little bit differently. He also does a custom recommendations for people in a series of videos he calls Build Your Own Recommendations, which I absolutely love as well. He's so good. And like I said, I watch every video that he makes and you should do. Next is Jessica from Jessica Reads Things. She is a librarian and um, I love the way that she talks about books and I love what she talks about. Again, I feel like she talks about a really wide variety of things. Um, I really like her wrap ups in particular. Um, and I just love the way that she talks about books. It feels very conversational and like you're just sitting down with a friend and talking with them. And I love those types of videos a lot. So I definitely recommend her channel. Next is Catherine from Literary Prince. She is Chinese Indonesian and she reads a lot of Asian fiction, but just reads really widely in general. And I love the quality of her videos. She has cute graphics and sound effects. Her production values are very high. Um, I've been doing this for like almost five years and my production values are very small. Um, so I love seeing the effort that she puts in just to make everything seem really polished and visually engaging on top of being intellectually engaging the way that she talks about books and the kinds of books she talks about. I absolutely I just love her channel so much and you should definitely watch it. And lastly is Weena from Weena Wonders. She does a lot of really interesting kinds of videos. She talks a lot about poetry but she also does fantastic book reviews. She, her most recent one that I watched was about The Sympathizer which won the 2016 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. Her discussion of that book and, and um, the way that she described it and the way that she talked about her feelings about it made me want to pick it up immediately. Um, it's probably gonna be the next book that I buy. She just comes across as being so smart and so kind. She's very soft-spoken um, and I just love the way that she talks about the things that she reads, which obviously I like the way that all these people talk about what they read, which is why I'm making this video. Basically, they're all great. I like them all a lot and you should be watching all of them. So I will link all their channels down below. I hope you subscribe to all of them. Please let me know small booktubers that I might not be familiar with that I should definitely check out. Please leave those in the comments because I'm always looking for new people to watch. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.